Hey y'all, thank you all for watching this video. Today I'm gonna just be showing how I do an application on a short nail set. So first thing I'm doing is clipping my client's nails. This is actually my sister, so I ain't gonna say I ain't try my hardest to do her nails, but y'all know how I be when y'all do y'all family's nails. So now I am getting all the shine off of her natural nail using a sanding band and when I use this to prep, I always have it on a low speed. When I'm prepping, I also use a fine grit sanding band. Um, everybody has their own preference. Like some people use medium grit, but I like to use fine grit. I'm using a Manny Pro electric file. And I'ma just give some alternatives because like, I know when I was first doing nails, when I was watching people's nail videos, I was like, I'ma buy everything they got. But you know, they're more experienced and some stuff costs a lot of money. So this Manny Pro file is a lot of money compared to like other files. It's like $300, $400. But another file, electric file that I used before and I really like is um, a Melody Susie. I order from Amazon. Um, the only thing I, the only reason why I still don't have that one is because mine's just stopped working. Like I had it for about a year, so I I say you can use that when you're like a beginner or as long as yours keep working. But I had mine for about a year, and they sent me another one, and that one stopped working. I was like, you know what? I'm not even about to play these games. So I was like, let me just buy Manny Pro. So now I'm gluing some. Um, no C curve tips on my client's nails and she's getting a short set. I don't have any short nail tips so I'm just using these ones and cutting them down real low. using an 80-80 grit hand file, um, filing my client's nails, getting it to that crisp square shape. Oh my y'all, do y'all like my nails? I did them myself, but uh, and I did my both both of my hands with like no problem. So yeah, I'm hard for real. I just wanted to throw that out there. I like for my clients to turn their hand this way. It helps me get a better visual of like if the nail is um crooked or foul straight. It's just a different angle to look at when you're filing nails. Now I am blending a false nail tip in with my client's natural nail.
here I'm using a lint-free wipe and Young Nail Swipe to dehydrate my client's nail while I'm using it as a dehydrator and to remove any dust or lint from her nail. Now I'm using Young Nails Protein Bond. I use two coats on each hand and I really think this protein bond has helped a lot with my clients' nails like adhering for a couple weeks. So I highly recommend Young, Young Nails Protein Bond. Now I'm using um, some chisel acrylic powder. Uh, I don't really remember what um, number this is or the name of it because it scratched off my um, powder, but I'll find it. It's like a, um, a real light pink. My sisters say it looked like a milky white, but it's like a milky pink or whatever. And I'm using Mia Secret Monomer and yeah. I'm using a size 10 nail brush. And when learning nails, I feel like that's one of the most complicated things to learn, in my opinion. Because I feel like people can show you how to do nails, but like they can't really teach you how to do it. Like I feel like those is one of the things you really have to keep practicing and get better over time. Like you know how somebody show you how to change change your tire on your car, like they're literally showing you the steps, but like everybody's movement is different when they're doing nails. Like some people it's heavy handed, so they got to type light, lightly and you really just get the feel of the bead. So like when people be like, like, how do I know if my bead is consistent or not? Like it depends like how much monomer you got on there, like how many taps you take, you know, how long you hold the brush in the acrylic powder. So it's really like a feel. So you got to just keep practicing to get like a consistent bead. Thank you. 